Biafra, second ever mono. On your mark, on a me, ya just seek it. Macane Homer, might be Homoke. So, without taking much of your time, I want to inform you that the Biafra Liberation Army Commander has returned alive and a sound on heart without any problem and that is Mr. Gentle Mr. Gentle spoke live I saw him I can attest to what I'm saying that it is true and maybe some people have also discovered what I'm saying. So, and um, he said he decided to come live to let the people who are insinuating that he is dead or maybe Nigerian soldiers have killed him or maybe his daddy body has rotted in the bush or maybe Nigeria police or DSS have killed him he comes to let them know that there is nothing like that that he is alive and live and direct he spoke I listened to him. I watched him. Every part of his body is complete. So, um, I believe also that there are people who are not happy for not seeing him, for not hearing from him. Some Biafrans are not happy and some Igbos are not happy. You know why? Uh, the Biafra Liberation Army Commander, Gentle, I, I believe he's a gentleman. And uh, whenever you are listening to him, you will always hear peace from his mouth. He is not violent. He does not destroy. Hmm? He is not brutal. Gentle is not brutal. So, what I'm trying to say is that the brutality is not good. But you will be brutal when necessary and where necessary. You should be brutal. Not everywhere. You see, the gentle have arrested so many people, so many Nigerian police, and so many Nigerian soldiers. He caught them on illegal assignment to kill their friends. And some of these people he caught are Igbos the same Igbo speaking language. But what did he do? He decided to let them go. And he said, why he is letting them go is because they are his brother. They are his brothers. So how can he kill his own brother? Did they listen to his statement? So, watch very well. You will see that indeed he is a gentle, a gentle soldier. <laughs> he is not like some of us. Eh? <laughs> so, because uh, during our own time, now I'm an old man. And that's what makes me a warlord. 
So if you want to know oh, this thing I'm talking about, go and ask of me in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. So, and um, UN peacekeeping operation, uh, Liberia, Ekomagwa, caused by Chastello. So, and etc. So, I'm um, the type that I want us to finish it now. All right? Because I cannot watch you come to kill me or my brother or my sister, and then I will let you go. So, gentle is a gentle man. The Biafra Liberation Army Commander, gentle, is a real gentleman. So, um, my dear gentle, I have some words for you of advice and instruction. So, continue the way you are going. Because anything that I have front must have back. So, you have done well by not taking the life of your own brothers away. And on the other hand, understand that if you spare some of them, if they see a means to take you away, they will do it. Because they will see you as a weakling. Because if you are not weakling, you wouldn't have let them go. You are getting what I'm saying? And some of them will look at you not to be professional. Because if they were in position, if they were the people, if they were the ones who arrested you like that, they wouldn't let you go. They will kill you. And don't forget that the day you sign to be a soldier is the day you sign your death warrant. Either you kill your enemies or your enemies killed you. So there is no gentility in the jungle. <laughs> I'm talking to you as an old man. There is no gentility in the battle of war. No gentility in exchange of bullets. No gentility when gun is speaking. No gentility when bombs are exploding. No gentility when your enemies besiege you round. That's no gentility. But I know you have chosen your way. May your God guide and protect you. And please, gentle, don't be offended for those who are talking about your death. Maybe you, are, you have died. Maybe um, Nigerian soldiers have killed you. Don't be, don't be angry with them, I beg you. Don't be offended because I heard you, I watch you, the way you are speaking, it's like you are angry, you are offended. So don't read negative meaning into that. Uh, yes, I'm talking to you as a warlord and I'm talking to you as a father who have been in the battlefield for over 30 years. You know what it means. And you can now read the meaning to know how many years I am now. All right? So I lecture on war, both black and white. I lecture them on war, how to fight war, how to win war, how to conquer a territory, how to penetrate for a rescue mission oppression, how to go for war, the way to wage war against, against the enemies, the way you can escape, because a general can never be caught with a hand. You can't catch a general with a hand. 
all right? Rather, you and the general will die together. Because whatever that, com that comes to a man is equal with the man. Even if the man dies, he dies with that thing that comes to kill him. So, which means he's equal with him. So, there are things I believe, there are things I don't believe. So, don't be offended. Because why those people are insinuating that you are dead or reading meaning or talking about your death is because... Uh, those Biafans and those Igbos are, uh, they, they feel that you are very important to them. Permit me to say, it is my mind I'm saying, but if I have offended you, I'm sorry. Forgive, forgive me. So, but I feel like you are very important to them. You are absent, it is a very big, uh, I mean, uh, blow, it's a very big blow to them that you are not there because if you have been there, they know how when you move, when you get up, when you talk, how things change. So they missed you in summary. They missed you, but they don't know how to express their feelings. And I believe that now when you are back, they will be very happy and excited that gentle is now fully back to do more than he has done before and i believe gentle uh most importantly this period your people need your services more than ever before you may have gone for more training you may have gone to rest um nobody needs to question your audacity or authority you know what you are doing because it is your head you are using to defend others. So don't be offended. Still understand and recognize that your people are your people. So nobody will be happy if you are dead. All right? So nobody will be happy if he's no longer seeing you or hearing from you. I know that it's not everybody that loves you, but many Biafrans and many Igbos loved you, and they care for you, but you may not understand. So don't be angry. Don't be offended. So as you are back, you announce to them that you are back. You have done well. So, and let them too, from their own side, they contribute to see how the... Uh, fighting we are we have been going through it can be able to favor us favor us in the sense that uh, they have to support us with vital informations not sabotaging our efforts as uh, soldiers not to sabotage us not to betray us into the hands of our enemies. So that is the only thing I will not trust. Uh, I will not, I mean, uh, tolerate. It is uh, sabotage, saboteurs. I will not tolerate it. I will not condone it. And you see, betrayer. Hmm? I will not tolerate it. So um, any kind of insubordination against Biafran military, I cannot tolerate it that is the one thing you must know and uh, before i wrap up my message this time i want you to know as a soldier that before monkey before you see monkey monkey have seen you all right try to understand this language and make yourself more strong because the road is far and the 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 walk is very hectic and the activities have just begun and we have inner and the outer enemies to fight we have to fight our evil politicians with their terrorist organization and we have to fight nigeria government with their uh, fallen terrorist militaries and police and dss in the uniform. 
Thank you, gentle. Bye.